Today we're going to look at some typical processes and best practices for getting through the end of financial year in Cybers Vision ERP. These processes will be useful for Cybers Vision users regardless of which financial year your country adheres to. If you're not doing so already, it's important to reconcile on a monthly basis. This means that when you get to the last month of your financial year, you only have one month to reconcile and it will make your end of financial year much easier. Ensuring all data entry has been completed to the best of your ability, the first thing we're going to do is run any required reports. This is so we can review them ahead of closing out the financial year. That gives us the opportunity to make any corrections we need to and then rerun them again later. Instead of running each report individually, we can create report sets in Cybers Vision. I've created one here for the end of financial year that includes various reports from different ledgers that I want to run. This report set isn't static. You're able to add more reports and edit the parameters like dates, accounts or currencies. Thanks to Cybers Vision being date-based rather than period-based, I could even run this report set across multiple financial years if I wanted to, even if processing isn't quite completed yet. Now, if I run this report set, it simply creates one file of all the reports combined. Then I can export it or send it in my preferred format. Now let's look at period maintenance, available under General Ledger. This shows the last three financial years for our company. You're able to have up to three financial years active or open for transactions at any one time. And you also have the ability to restrict who can process transactions each month or year with user roles. So here I'm going to add in some additional roles that I've created and we can really drill down into the permissions of each role if we want to as well. And that just gives you really customized control over who is entering transactions and for when. For example, this could be handy if you want certain roles to be able to enter quotes for processing in the following financial year, but not create other transactions. Creating a new financial year is simple too. Click on the Utilities menu in the General Ledger tab and select Create New Financial Year. You can see the full list of tax periods available for your company under the Tax Periods menu item. And then close these off as required. Now, if you've got company budgets to stick to, it's a good idea to get these sorted at the end of financial year too. Under the Utilities menu, we can export both company and project budgets using a simple wizard. By exporting the budget from this year, I can review it and then easily import it back in using the budget import in the same menu, really saving me a lot of time and saving me having to do my budget from scratch. You can keep track of your budget at any time throughout the year by running the budget report from the general ledger reports menu. Last of all, remember to back up your data regularly, but especially at end of financial year. If you're not already doing this or need customized assistance for your end of financial year processing, speak to your Cybers authorized business partner for help and leap into the new financial year with Cybers Vision.